Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Jaden, here back with another reaction video. So yes, as you guys can tell by the title, we're finally going to be reacting to Born This Way by Lady Gaga. Um, now I have heard a couple of tracks on this album. Looking at it, I can already see it. So I'm not going to ramble too much. Please make sure I give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe and girl play it. <laughs> So track number one is Marry the Night. Mm. I think I've heard this. Mm. I just live for Gaga's voice because Queen Gaga. Yeah. So track number one, Marry the Night, like I said, this song does kind of, I'm trying to recall if I've heard it, but listening to the chorus, I can tell that I've probably heard it, but I don't really remember because bitch, it has been like six or seven years. Um, But this song, Marry the Night, it is a bop. I really like the electronic production on it. It kind of reminds me of a song that I could sound and I, I'm not sure if this song was a single, but I could really see it doing well as a single. So the next track is Born This Way and Bitch. Now, this is a song where I could see if you guys were like, bitch, how haven't you heard this song? Because, bitch, Born This Way, if you didn't hear this song, bitch, you must have been living under a rock. Bro, when Gaga released this, bitch, I was like, is it bad that I know all these lyrics? Just be a queen. Just be a queen. She really did. Don't be a drag, just be a queen. Just live by the game, transfer the dollar away. Now, I don't know what you guys call Gaga's signature song, but for me, this will probably definitely have one of her signature songs because she has so many iconic songs, but when I think of think of Gaga, I think of Born This Way or Bad Romance, but definitely Born This Way because Born This Way was just so iconic. It was so embracing, like literally every year I go to Pride, I always hear this song in the parade, like it's, you're gonna hear Born This Way. So the next track is Government Hooker and I don't think I've heard this one, but let's hop right into it. Okay, opera. This sounds really like a dance vibe. I feel like I'm putting in my life. She's a bop. Okay. It's something that I will listen to over and over. It's like that song, it's a song like where you're like, your favorite part comes up and you keep rewinding it because every time she goes, like I keep, I kept wanting to rewind it. So I know that when I listen to the song again, bitch, I'm gonna keep like, you know, keep going back to that certain part. So the next track is Judith and I think that I've heard this song before. Oh, bitch, yeah. We love iconic hits. Uh -huh. It like, it switches up to like this pop perfection. Like that is what Gaga is about. She's pop, she's a pop queen. This makes you just want to walk down the runway like. She gives you that runway vibe. So this track, Judas, I feel like I've heard some of it. I don't know if this was a single, but I know that I've heard this song before. So with this track, Judas, I kind of, I don't know, it has like a weird message. Like is she talking about this guy being attached to her? or something, a demon, or her just being in love with this guy named Judas. I don't really know, you guys should comment down below. Just know how to get a song stuck in your head with pop music. The next track is Americana. 
It's giving me like a Spain feel. Like this shit makes me wanna get a bull. Like with the red shit, bitch, and like no. Queen of Spanish. So this track, Americano, it is really giving me, like I said, Spain. I'm not sure if that's the right origin of the country, but it gives me like some kind of some kind of familiar sound that I feel like I've heard. I don't know if this song is sampling anything, but girl, I am here for it. And when the song started off, she did mention that she fell in love with a girl. So is this like a lesbian anthem? If it is, girl, then I'm 100% here for it. Like, yes, Gaga, give me those gay anthems. So the next track is Hair. Okay. Yes. Her voice is just, girl. It sounds like an EDM bop. Okay. This track here is really good, don't get me wrong, but it is like five minutes long and I feel as though when I listen to this album again, this will kind of be a track that I would skip only because it's really good, but I don't know, like, there's nothing really catchy that's catching my attention besides the EDM production, but other than that, it's probably a track that I would definitely most likely skip. But the production on this track here is really good. I kind of like how it starts off really slow and popish, and then it goes into like this electronic sounding kind of bop. Like, we're here for this girl. The seventh track is Skeevy Skeevy. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I know it's in another language. But let's hop right into it. So it's a joke. It sounds like an underground dance vibe already. It's really catchy, like, yeah. I like that dot with that dash. She's a bop. Now, I'm pretty sure this song is like a German language song, so I could possibly see this doing really well in the Germany market. I'm not sure if she made this song a single, but I would see it doing really good there because the um, part where she's speaking in German is like really catchy and it's like really stuck in my head like that number, that number. I don't know what the fuck, how to say that, but I know it's really catchy. So the next track is Bloody Mary. Oh, it's just a history that they I really like the melody. This just might be one of my favorite tracks. So this track, Bloody Mary, would probably definitely have to be one of my favorite tracks that I've heard so far in the album. Bitch, I know we're only eight tracks in, but it is just something about the production and the way that this song sounds that has really caught my attention. Like, it's a bop, like it's really good. Like the production is really good. The melody, everything about it is really good. Um, also, you guys should comment down below, what are your favorite tracks from this album and why? So the ninth track is Bad Kids. Okay, she giving us a rock. She's a bop. 
So this track, Bad Kids, is a pop banger. I'm really here for it. I really love the lyrics. Like, her lyrics are have been so good. And I just, when it comes to Gaga and melodies and just pop songs in general, she is the boss at doing it. And that's why I'm really appreciating listening to these older pop albums when pop was actually pop. So the next track is Highway Unicorn, Road to Love. Okay. Okay, we can be strong, we can be strong. Yeah. Okay, this is like a switch up. It's giving me like rock. So this track, Highway Unicorn, Road to Love, by the way, this title is really random as fuck. But overall, this song is really good. It's kind of like a pop rock anthem. I like how, the, I, I just like the way this sounds and the way the end switched up really caught me off guard. But since we are here for it, like Miss Gaga is delivering so far. So the next track is Heavy Metal Lover. That's really catchy. Heavy metal lover. It's electro pop. Electro pop Gaga always delivers. Like, I would just strike heavy metal lover. Heavy metal lover. I think my favorite part about this song will possibly have to be the lyrics and the production and the melody. The melody is like really catchy and it really gets stuck in your head. And I don't know why she didn't make this a single because I don't remember this song at all. But I can see it like doing really good on radio. So the next track is Electric Chapel. <laughs> You're gonna give us pop rock, okay? I hear some good toys. Okay. Mm, girl, that beat woke a bitch up. I like it, she's a bop. It gives me rock, like 80s kind of sick. So with this track, Electric Chapel, once again, it reminds me of a rock, like it sounds really rock influenced and I'm really here for it, like Gaga voice really does shine on these kind of songs. Um, this album, Born This Way, it really follows a simple aesthetic. I'm looking at the album cover and now that I kind of pay more attention to it, it kind of gives me that. The vibe of it is just really electronic. So the next track is You and I. Bitch, this don't make me want to go drink a fucking Bud Light. Like, mm. Yeah. Mm. Bitch. So, in my honest opinion, this track, You and I, is kind of reminding me of her most recent album, Joe and It really has those country vibes just a little bit. This track, You and I, really showcases that Gaga can venture off into different genres and still sound just as good. Like, girl, she is the queen of switching genres. So the final and last track on this album, Born This Way, is The Edge of Glory. And girl, of course, I've heard this song. Baby, isn't you and me should be alone tonight? Yeah, baby. Tonight, yeah, baby. Isn't it to be
for the edge of glory i think that this was a perfect track to close off the album born this way with um like i said i like how this album is following the aesthetic of kind of pop rock electronic like it's really cohesive and this may be one of my favorite gaga albums that i've heard out of the three i've only heard joanne our pop and now born this way and out of those three yeah i would probably say that this one is my favorite there is just something about gaga sound like even listening backwards i can see how she has evolved into a pop star because from just dance i haven't heard the album the fame yet but just dance is like way different so for me this album born this way is definitely something i would be listening to over and over again so for me this album born this way is a classic to me because it is just something about the production something how gaga knows how to blend sounds like i said bitch she's a motherfucking musical genius so yes i'm not gonna run with too much please make sure i give this video a big thumbs up please make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next reaction video bye i love you guys and don't forget if you can't love yourself how you gonna listen to me?